morning folks nice Saturday sunny Saturday morning in January a little brisk this morning uh, just following up with uh, <clears throat> you know this whole carriage deal that I've been posting I'm gonna post part one and uh, this will be part two uh, and I think I finally got it uh, with a little help from uh, Al Angling, I know I mentioned his name in the first video. I might have massacred his name, but a uh, uh, great gentleman. He makes um, a rod wrapper uh, thread holders and tensioners. He has a, a really nice, uh, I guess, a side gig going on. Uh, I, I went to order one from him. Uh, and we started messaging over Facebook and uh, basically, we had this long discussion about, you know, how to tension thread because I've never, ever been able to get that right. That has always been a hard thing for me uh, to have consistent, you know, a thread tension that gives consistent um, thread tension. So, you know, while I was talking with Al and asking to order one of his carriages, uh, he gave me the suggestion to use magnets to help give tension to the thread. And it actually worked. I did went out. I uh, quickly. I bought a, a set of magnets, but the ID are not uh, perfect to my quarter twenty thread. So this is a little sloppy. But I feel that once we once I get it, the bore right or the ID right, um, it's going to give you know nice tension. It's giving great tension now, and I'm just loving you know how consistent the wraps are. Um, also, you know, was I I had this lineal rail. Um, idea. This is something, you know, I was a machinist a long time ago and um, they sell these now on, on, on Amazon. I'm sure I could probably find the part number. Uh, I was able to actually buy two of them. A kit comes with one rail and two blocks. So now I could actually build maybe, you know, two or three of these and have them set up for all different spools and just push them off to the side in the back. Um, I usually make 10 foot rod in one piece. That's probably the biggest one piece rod I'll make. Uh, then I have to do some shifting on the bench so I could do a, a 10 piece rod, but all good. Love the Alps Chuck. And I think I'm loving my new setup and I really appreciate the, the help Al. It was uh, awesome input. Loving it.